this is CS50. I'm Jessica here with... My name is Tigger. Ape. And they're going to show us a demo of their project. So can you show us a little bit something? Sure, absolutely. So, initially we decided to make a 2D application of a simple game. Well, of a simple game. In which you essentially, you're a P set and your goal is to avoid Facebook and Instagram logos. You avoid the logos because you need to get your homework done. And these are distractions, and distractions are bad. <laughs> However, this game was a little too easy to code, so we decided to, you know, puff it up a little bit. And so, oh, so why not? We tried making a 3D game. Um, because of time constraints, it turned into a 3D experience instead. So, if you go look to here, if I relaunched it, you would be able to see a uh, platform detection kind of uh, node that would say, okay, place the piece at here. For convenience, I've already pre-placed the piece set. It's an actual virtual object laying on the table, and it will stay there. But if you look up, every four seconds, you see a social media app randomly generated up here. Now, it seems overwhelming for now, because I've let it run for quite a while, just for effect. But you got to get them away, so you push focus, and it launches a light bulb at them, allowing you to uh, stay focused on your piece set and avoid distractions. And this is a piece set protector. <laughs> That's really awesome and impressive. Like, did you guys have any experience with anything like this before doing nope. CS50? Nope. No, no, none whatsoever. We found Swift to be an extremely challenging programming language, yeah. uh, but but it was fun. So you know. Yeah. Three months ago, could you imagine that you created something like this? No, I've actually always wanted to work with AR and VR, but I had no idea how to start. And I, even knowing all that CS50 would cover, I couldn't imagine that I'd be able to make something like this by the end. That's really awesome. Uh, what was the most exciting part about um, programming this or going through the process? What would you say? I mean, I'd probably say the most exciting part was just the constant incremental steps that we made. Like we would, you know, code something, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work. And then eventually we'd have something very basic show up. So just every single one of those little basic experiences I thought was fantastic. Yeah, that's, it's so awesome, um, really cool. I'm really impressed, so thank you for showing us your demo. Um, thank I'm, you. Yeah, thank you. I'm Jessica, and this is CS50.